The thing that motivates me most in my current work are the people that I work with. And that could be the patients that I work with, but also my students and the other professionals at the clinic. The thing that I most look forward to are seeing the patients that I work with and I genuinely am anticipating the progress that they've made or helping them solve a new problem. But I also look forward to seeing my students and training them and learning something new every single day from the people that I work with. There are several personal things that I do to take care of myself. I have hobbies, I have a family. I try to achieve that balance and take time for myself. But I think the biggest thing that helps with that is the match between my training and my job expectations is really a perfect match. So at the end of the day, I go home feeling like I did the best that I could every single day. I don't feel that I'm at a loss for a skill or for a resource. And I'm confidently able to conquer every day like a new day and feeling refreshed and renewed. The biggest thing that I do to achieve a work life balance is try to create and maintain boundaries. And those boundaries may change over time, but certainly it's always compelling to work a little bit extra or to do a little bit more. When you love your job a lot, it's always very tempting to spend extra time at home doing your job. But certainly having colleagues and a boss that encourage personal development and my boss is always asking me what my children are doing or what I'm doing and has a genuine interest in my life outside of the office. I think that my workplace gives me every tool and every resource that I need to be effective. And as things come up over the years, if there's something that I think that I need and I ask for it, it's usually given. Um, my boss, Dr. Joe Evans, has really made our mission very clear, but also very simple. And it's to provide quality behavioral health services to all children in Nebraska. And with that mission, it makes it really easy to make day-to-day -day decisions about where to spend my time and how to allot my resources. And he leaves that up to us. There's never been an emphasis on the quantity, the number of hours billed, or the amount of time that has to be spent doing one activity and to have the resources that I need to do my job, to have the support, and to not have micromanagement to someone say, this is how many hours you should do this, or you have to put a time card, but to have his trust and confidence that I'm doing my job on a day-to-day -day basis is all of the support that I need to do a good job every day.